So this video is a little uh, little bit about uh, doing a swap from an E-Tech to a P-Tech. I know that I've been reading lots of blogs and stuff like that and I can't find nothing on it. There's been guys obviously that, that have done it. <sighs> but I did it and I just got it running today. Um, so I just wanted to do a little video on it and show what all I had to do. And yeah, and hopefully this helps the next guy because there's no videos out there for it. So what uh, first thing I did is change the head because obviously the E-Tech head is that one. So I swapped out the head. I swapped out the reeds, reed valves and the boots. And then obviously they're carved, right? P-Tech's carved. And then I had to take out the RAV valves too and put those RAV valves in. And so what I ran into, the one problem, or and, and then you can also change the exhaust. Um, the white pipe on the E-Tech, I do believe is different, but I put the one off of my P-Tech onto the E-Tech, or off the, yeah, off my old P-Tech onto the E-Tech motor. Um, so uh, the fuel, the only thing I ran into was the fuel pump. Um, the fuel pump on, so this is the old, this is a P-Tech engine, this one. Now, the only thing different on these is you have, this is one, one the, these ones run to the RAV valves, and then this one is for your fuel pump, this one's for the oil. So uh, this one is not on the E-Tech engine, so this is just blank. So what I did is I teed into these, because these ones tee off and go to the RAV valves, so I teed into this. And now my fuel pump works, so I did that. I also had to swap out those nipples that are for the the oil pump. Um, they have a 90 degree angle on them. Um, the ones for the E-Tech are straight out. So I did that. And yeah, basically everything else fit on. I put my old stator onto, like the only thing I had to do with the, my stator that was off the P-Tech engine, I took out the screw and the bracket, I took it off and uh, on the back of your stator and yeah there's that not the notch on this one for that but on the yeah the e-tech motor is different the there's no notch there so yeah i just and it and it fit right on right tight everything was good the stator and everything's fine um the other thing i ran into um uh, i still kind of got this apart so i'll try and see if of course i don't have no light so i'll get a light here quick I'll show you guys what else i ran into so for the RER, the engines that have the RER, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but on that, I forget what the heck, the connector's right there. So the one with the white and blue wire has to go to the bottom. If you end up putting that, I forget what the hell they're called, but if you put that one on the top, you will not get sparked to your motor. So always make sure that, that one's in the bottom or on the... Yeah, that one with the white and blue wire, make sure that's on the bottom there. And yeah, I see that the blue Loctite everything, obviously. And uh, I see that the Loctite's still not set up. But uh, other than that, everything lined up really good. This motor was out of a 2013 uh, Summit, Summit with a XM, Rev XM. And mine is uh, 2011... Um, 2011 Renegade, Skidoo Renegade Rev XP. So yeah, so the motor fit right in, everything bolted up fine. Uh, starter lined up, the my TRA7 clutch lined up, everything, everything is good. So yeah, that's uh, it. I just wanted to do a little video on that and I hope this helps the next person.